Yo, yo, yo. Tom and Toyo live from Philly. It's the number one rated Paulie and Tony Fusco show. Yo, yo, yo. As always, Paulie Fusco here with Tony Fusco and Tony. Yo. Huge show today. You know, yeah. controversial interview involving Aaron Rodgers and a former Packers quarterback. Uh, and, uh, you know, we're going to tell you why all the fools in the media have this story all wrong. Yep. And uh, we're also going to need to defend Lamar Jackson, who is being unfairly prosecuted for uh, what some people say was an untoward tweet. Wrong. Anyway, Patrick Mahomes MVP talk, though. So ridiculous, Tony. We're going to show you stats that are going to make you realize how overrated this bum is. Yeah, you're not going to believe it, but then you're going to believe it. Yeah, absolutely, Tony. And unfortunately, too, uh, you know, we asked Fox Sports Radio over there to book us a guest, oh. a good guest. And wouldn't you know it, they go out and get us the single most overexposed, most annoying person in all the sports talk, oh. Nick Wright. And uh, we're just going to have to put him in his place, aren't we, Tony? Yeah, the gutter. That's his place. Yeah, well, his career is going down the gutter. Yep. You know, maybe that's why he's coming to us for exposure, you know? He needs the exposure. I didn't uh, you know, think on the about subject that. Yep. Exposure, you're 100% Tony. right. Yeah, yeah. Yep. Due to, you know, due to our huge ratings, advertisers continue to throw money at us. It's, it's, it's frankly, crazy. it's embarrassing how desperate they it are. Is. But uh, anyway, we're going to do our business right now. A sponsor read for our good friends at Edible Arrangements. Are you planning to send someone you love an arrangement for the holidays? Well, what good is it if they can't eat it? Yeah, one time someone sent me a floral bouquet. I bit into it and it tasted terrible. Never spoke to that a-hole ever again. There's a good lesson for you people out there. Anyway, go to ediblearrangements.com, enter the promo code Polly and Tony Great Show for 1.2% off your first order of $300 or more, shipping, taxes, and box not included. Edible arrangements. Okay, well, uh, now that we got that business out of the way, it's time to get into our top story. Top story. All right, first out the gate, Tony. You know, everybody's buzzing about this interview with the former Packers backup quarterback, Deshaun Kaiser, who I guess somebody wanted to interview for some reason that they can't figure out. Anyway, beside the point. Anyway, Kaiser said that when he first met with Aaron Rodgers up in Green Bay, Rodgers closed the door and asked him if he knew the truth about 9-11 and then told him to research what really happened. Now, this is some of the morons in the media just up in arms, Tony, besides themselves. You know, but they just don't get it, do they, Tony? No. This is the mindset you want for QB. You should want your quarterback to be a conspiracy theorist. Think about it. On every play as a QB, you have another team of enemies literally conspiring to get you. Disguising what they're really doing, lying to you, trying to bring you down and possibly kill you. Frankly, I would be worried if my quarterback was not a conspiracy theorist. Great point, Tony. Yeah, I want my QB to get in the huddle and say to his team, you may think the Vikings are blitzing, but that's exactly what they want you to believe. Don't be a blind sheep. Totally agree, Tony. And you know... If I was an NFL GM, you know what I'd do? The first thing I would do is I'd ask any college quarterback coming up in the draft, I'd ask him how many people were involved in the shooting of JFK. And if he gave me a number lower than six, I'd kick his ass to the curb. Absolutely. You'd have to. You know, next up, uh, we hate to discuss on this show, you know, as Mike Florio put it, quote, vulgar content. But, oh, you know, please. this is our duty as journalists, isn't it, Tony? You know? Yeah, it's and, what we do. Absolutely. So, you know, earlier this week, Ravens quarterback Lamar Jackson got caught up in a media firestorm over a tweet with some, uh, let's say, choice language. Now, yeah, to give you fair. the backstory of what happened here, uh, some random person tweeted that uh, Lamar Jackson doesn't deserve a huge contract because he needed to rely on his kicker to try and win that game against the Jags, which they didn't. But anyway, Lamar tweeted back at this guy, and and I quote, and I quote this as part of my journalistic yep. duty, okay? He, yep. he, he tweeted, boy, shut the f*** up. Y'all be capping too much on this app. MF never smelt a football field, never did but eat d***. Well, you know, people, they read this tweet. 
And they were so enraged that they basically forced Lamar to delete it. And Tony, this is just another example of censorship and, uh, you know, imposing on a person's freedom of speech. It's just terrible, isn't it? It's horrible. You know, people need to learn their history. Yep. When our founding fathers, Abraham Lincoln and George Jefferson, founded our glorious nation, they envisioned a land where people had freedom of speech. If we can't let an NFL quarterback freely say, hey, mother shut the up, eat then I'm afraid we've lost our way as a country. Beautifully said, Tony. We got to lead to another bizarre and troubling trend in the betting world. You know, the Vegas odds makers just way off again. Uh, first, what they did this week, they put the two lost Kansas City Chiefs as Super Bowl favorites ahead of the one lost Eagles, which only makes sense if you're a total idiot. Yeah. And just to further show you how stupid these bozos are, they have Patrick Mahomes as the favorite oh, for MVP yeah, over Jalen Hurts. But, you know, if you actually bother to do the research here, you know, and look at the stats, you know, Mahomes stats, you can see... He doesn't deserve jack squat. And, you know, that's why right now we're going to do a segment on the show that we came up with all Oz. You know, other lazy sports shows, they've copied it. But uh, here, we're going to do a segment called Blind Resume. Blind Resume. Okay, so this is how this is going to work, people. I'm going to compare Patrick Mahomes' stats to the stats of another quarterback. And Tony has to guess which quarterback I'm talking about. So here's what we're going to do. We're going to look at the three QB stats that matter the most. You know, because people, they love to throw stats at you, but there are really only three that matter. Yeah, they don't tell the whole story. Yeah, exactly. Of course, we're talking about interceptions, completion percentage, and game-winning drives led by quarterback. Now, Mahomes Mahomes has eight interceptions, terrible, 66% completion percentage, eh, and only two game-winning drives. Yeah, Tony, tell me. Who do you think is putting up the same numbers as Patrick Mahomes this season? Hmm. This is a tough one, Paulie. Yep. And uh, I got to say, I'm at a loss. Kenny Pickett. Wow. Yep. Kenny Pickett also has eight interceptions, 66% completion percentage, and two game-winning drives which just puts it in perspective and shows you how bad Patrick Mahomes really is. Wow. You know, maybe Patrick Mahomes needs to start reading more message boards in 4chan so he can recognize a defensive conspiracy and not get intercepted so much. Great point, Tony. And uh, just one last story here, a quick one out of college football. Auburn has hired former Ole Miss coach Hugh Freeze. And, you know, the media once again just losing their mind because, you know, Freeze was caught committing a bunch of recruiting violations at Ole Miss. But, you know, personally, Tony, I think this speaks well of Freeze. You know, he's proven that he has the cheating expertise necessary to get Auburn back to being a respected prestige program. And uh, that's the way college football works, doesn't it, Tony? Absolutely. People always say in recruiting, you should go after the best players. No, wrong. First, you need to recruit the best escorts. Once you recruit the best escorts, then you can recruit the best players. It's really simple. Terrific point, Tony, as always. And, you know, we could dive deeper on this, but unfortunately, we got our terrible guest coming on the line. So uh, let's bring him on the Fusco Satellite Network. Fusco Satellite Network. All right, this guy co-host of uh, First Things First on FS1. And on that note, as we bring him on here, you know, I guess we do have to say, you know, we're sorry to hear the news that, you know, your show got moved from the cushy, important morning time slot, you know, the afternoon dead zone when nobody's watching, you know. You used to be first out the gate. Now you're you're in the donkey's behind of sports talk. Everybody's heard all the I mean, that's one way to look at it. Hold on, I'm not done with your intro. They, yeah. they, you know, they let me they, run the... He doesn't the, know the how TV ang- works. This is why they... All right, what do you want to say? Go, interrupt. They, yeah. they, I mean, they let me run the anchor leg after uh, a guy who... Yeah. Anchor, who, anchor know, sinking. Cr- anchor like leg sinking what? to the guy, bottom of the ocean. A guy anchor. who... Yeah. If, if yeah. you'd let You're me You're the finish, Titanic uh, of Fox. What? I, okay, I mean, again, we are running the anchor leg, which many people feel is the most important leg. And who's running the third leg, but a guy who without him, 
you guys would be nothing. A guy who you guys got your start calling his radio no, show. No, no, no. no. Are you kidding yes, me? He begged, yes. us. he begged us to come on. You're talking about Colin Coward. He, he begged we us know. to do the show. Revisionist history. You know, yeah, first exactly. Good. Am I the first return guest? No, I'm kidding. You're not that most... special. Get over yourself. Yeah, you know, people exactly. begging to come on the show all the time. But you know, hold on a second, Nick. You know, if if you admitted you're the anchor leg now, so instead of calling the show first things first, why haven't they retitled it to Last Things Last? Wouldn't that Great make question. more sense? Yep. Well, you guys would know this if you had ever had any modicum. And go ahead, Paulie, and oh, Google that word. Yeah, congratulations. Um, you passed wow. the SAT. Well done. Um, yeah, good right. for you. Media success. <laughs> yeah, okay. But when something Jealous. works, it creates brand loyalty. And yeah. so even if morons, it doesn't but... now have the, you know, double entendre of its first things first, which is like how you start an argument or a discussion, and also being early in the morning, they didn't want to change. All right, you that, know, I know you were just going to give yeah. some pat answers. We're going to stop bosses, you right so there. So let's just move on. I, I, I'm sorry I even asked the question and wasted our yeah. time here. But let's just get to our main topic here. All right, the yeah. Sean Kaiser, former Packers backup quarterback. He was interviewed for some reason that nobody can figure out. Anyway, apparently he said that when he first met with Aaron Rodgers up in Green Bay, that Rodgers took him aside into a room and told him to research the truth about 9-11. Now, Smart. you media people, you know, you're so soft and angry. You're all up in arms saying how it's bad that Aaron Rodgers is a conspiracy theorist. But don't you want your QB to be a conspiracy theorist. Exactly. You, know, Why? you got defenses conspiring against you, enemies trying to deceive and fool and yeah. kill you. Isn't the conspiracy theorist the perfect person to be a quarterback? Come on. Well, I mean, you, you for the first time in the history of this show, you almost make a good point. You're like, you're half, you have the kernel of a good idea, which is don't you want your quarterback to be a big thinker, to talk, to think about things that aren't simply right in front of him, and could that translate yeah, to the football Something you know nothing field? about. Okay. Yeah. Un okay. Unfortunately, what? it would appear that Aaron has become, as he has become more, uh, let's call it, interested in, you know, the conspiracy lanes. I don't know if that's taken up more of his time, his film study, or if he's just getting old. But the, the crazier Aaron Rodgers has crazy is a mean word. Uh, well, yeah, I, I see where you're going with this. Aaron Rodgers yeah. has gotten the worse his play has gotten. Yeah, Those two lines seem to be, you know, inversely correlated. Another thing you're going to have to Google. To oh, out what it means. yeah. See, can't I say the same thing about you? The more, quote unquote, research you do, the yeah. worse your ratings have gotten, the worse yeah, your they analysis you later and later in the you. day. And, you know, you kind of look like Aaron, too, if I may yeah, say with the so. Long you know, the long hair. It's like you're trying to You're copy. more like Aaron than you realize. Hold, which one's Paulie? Which one's Oh, oh he doesn't know he's he kidding me. Does. You're rude. Yo. You bet. Okay. You, go on, you insult one's, everybody. Which one's Nick and which one's Colin Coward wanted? Yeah, exactly. Which okay. one's cowherd light? Yeah, exactly. Okay. T that's Tony. That's Tony talking there. Paulie's yeah. the Learn one how to read a Zoom who's box. insulting. How can you read? Insulting. How can you read stats? You can't even read a Zoom. Yeah. Paulie Paulie's the one who's insulting my hair, but is so ashamed of his that he wears a hat everywhere I've ever seen him. Oh, in it's called fashion. Oh, yeah. Look it up. It's called yeah. fashion. It's called style. Something you should yeah. look into. You look like yeah. a unibomber. I'm over shocked. There. I right, thought what? we were. I assumed we were going to talk about your wildly overrated football team. That's what I figured uh, you were bringing. Uh, no, you determined that. No, no, we're going to talk about your this wildly is, overrated yeah, football exactly. team. Exactly. That's what we call a segue. And your wildly to overrated you know, quarterback. You're such a fan of Kansas City, right? Because you once worked there when you were kind of yep. a nobody, which is where you're headed again. But that's another story. Anyway, you know, you're a yeah. huge Patrick Mahomes fan, right? what we'd call a Mahoma, you know, that's a, uh, you know, yeah. so what we're going to do right now is called blind resume. Are you familiar with how this type of segment yeah, works? Yeah, I invented this. Oh, oh you stole, no, I stole it from us. You stole, you stole our it. segment. Yeah, we were doing yeah, I, it years ago. We were doing were it embryo. for 20 years. Yeah, It doesn't count when you guys are just talking to each other. There has to be an audience. It can't oh, be like, hey, Paulie, who do you think this quarterback is? That is a rude That's impression. That's not a wow. rude resume. impression. Sounds nothing Terrible like voice. me. Doesn't sound anything authentic hey, Tony, at all. Hey, Tony, 
Let's get Nick on so people might actually wow, listen to the show. Wow, he's embarrassing himself. Yeah, right, let me hear the blind yeah, You're resume. the one who needs the audience, buddy. Yeah. Yeah, last thing. Let me last. hear the blind resume. All right, here you go. We okay. looked up Patrick Hold Mahomes' your horses. stats and the three yeah. most important stats that tell the whole story here. Eight interceptions, terrible. 66% completion, mediocre. And only Wildly. two game-winning drives. Now, Nick, with your Laughable. so-called expertise, please tell us which QB has the same terrible stats as Patrick Mahomes. Okay, eight interceptions. Yep. 66% completions. Yep. And two game-winning drives. You're stalling, but okay. I'm yeah. going to say, I'm gonna say it's clock. Carson Wentz. Oh, you wish. You wish, you wish. it was Carson Wentz. Who is Unfortunately, it? the answer for you is Kenny Pickett. Yeah. Kenny Pickett, eight interceptions, 66 completion, two game winning drives. Just a terrible, terrible QB. So the Patrick stats now Mahomes, show Patrick Mahomes is basically same as Kenny, Kenny Pickett. Pickett. So we'll give you this opportunity right here to admit that your, your beloved Patrick Mahomes is an overrated well, track. No, oh. I'm not going to do that, but I am a oh. little insulted. That you said the reason I like the Chiefs is because I briefly worked in Kansas City. I'm oh. from Kansas City, Missouri proper, the city limits. Unlike you guys, who I have heard many a story that you guys are actually from. No, cut him off. No, cut him off. Yeah, yeah. Like, yeah, yeah, yeah. I don't know you where you're from. You're from I the garbage. You guys, and guess you where you're headed. Are, uh, that's where you're headed, Nick. That's where you're headed, Nick. That's where from. you're from. That's where you're from. Because you're, you're from, from the show. show. Get him off the show. Get him off the show. Off the show. Get him. Your new time slot is yeah. off the show. Off the show. Yeah. Worst things worse, more like See you later. Bye. satellite network. Is he off the line? Jay, hang up the phone. Just what a terrible guest all around, Tony. I can't believe anyone wants to hear his opinions any time of day. Yeah, true. Terrible. Well, I certainly don't right now and never again. So, uh, but you know, we're not going to let him ruin an otherwise perfect show, Tony. Uh, no. Nope. You know, we want to thank our sponsors, our dear friends at Edible Arrangements. And oh, uh, oh no. Oh, wait, oh wait, no. Wait. Oh, it's. The only person on the planet worse than Nick Wright. It's our producer, Jay. What? Corrections. What? Look, you said Patrick Mahomes is statistically comparable to Kenny Pickett because they both have thrown eight interceptions? Yeah, yep. it's true. It, yeah. yeah, it's true, but Patrick Mahomes has thrown 29 touchdowns. Kenny Pickett has thrown three. Oh, yeah? Well, uh, you are going to be thrown in front of a train. Yeah, you should be sitting on a throne because you're the king of the losers. Yeah. Good one, Tony. Number yeah. two. What? You said one of the founding fathers was George Jefferson? Yeah. yeah. Yeah, no. George Jefferson was not a founding father. He was a sitcom character on the Jeffersons. Oh, yeah? Well, I'm going to sit calmly on your face until you pass out. Yeah, you're moving on down to the unemployment line. Great one, Tony. Yeah, yeah. There you go. Oh, that's it, more. we're what? done, no more. What? One more. You said Lamar Jackson was being unfairly prosecuted for his offensive tweet. Yeah, it's terrible what's going on there. Yeah. No, there's no trial. What I think you meant to say is he's being unfairly persecuted, not prosecuted. Oh, yeah? Well, I hope you get electrocuted after the show. Yeah, you should be prosecuted for being a terrible producer. Yeah, yeah there look you go. At him, you turned Paulie. it around on him, Tony. Soaking. That's what you did. He said, and you know what? Paulie. We're going to talk about turning it around. We're about to turn this whole show back around again, because guess what? Yeah, Breaking we are. Knows, next week, just booked... Super Bowl legend, Eagles hero, Nick Foles, coming wow. on the show. We will be here. Uh, until then, don't forget to follow us on our many tremendous social media platforms, including YouTube, right? You can watch the show yeah. on YouTube. We're all over. And we're on TikTok. Uh, you yep. know, Tony, great job as always. Same to you, Paulie. Another flawless show. There you go. We'll see you people next week. Bye. See ya.